Welcome to Tip Tuesday. As you know, being a health and wellness coach, I place a lot of emphasis on staying hydrated. If you work with me one-on-one -on -one as your health and wellness coach, or you've participated as a member of my program, Three Week Intense, you know how much value I place on staying hydrated and having plenty of diet to achieve optimal health. But what about drinking water when it comes to etiquette? Is there such a thing? Can we really have an etiquette to drinking water? Well, I believe there's a best practice for everything. And when I say best practice, I mean we can always do things in a way that is received well by others, but we can also do things in a way that's not received well. So I don't like to say good or bad or right or wrong because those are judgment words. It's just some things are better received by others. Who would have ever thought that there was an etiquette or a skill to drinking water? But I will share with you in today's video what that is and why. Welcome, I'm Tracy Hensel. I'm a certified professional coach and ICF credential holder. I help people just like you achieve goals, whatever area that's in. I help my clients navigate relationships and I help my clients step up or level up their game when it comes to poise and using proper etiquette. If you'd like to learn more about me, check out my personal brand website as well as my coaching and consulting website. Well, when it comes to drinking water and there being a skill, basically what I would say is if you want to look poised and polished, when you attend an event or a gathering or you're out to dinner, you would want to drink your water from a glass. When you're in the privacy of your own home or you're in your car or you're in your office or cubicle at work, who really cares? Most people are drinking from a unit like this. In fact, this is my water canteen. I drink from it all the time. In fact, I have this straw right here that I usually put inside just like that and I drink my water that way. Here's another water bottle. This one's Chloe's and I am sure we have more around the house and I'm sure Paul has one. Pretty much everyone I know has one of these. In fact, I know that very well because I see these pop up everywhere and that's what I want to talk about today. When is it just downright tacky to show up with your foo-foo pink or your striking, sleek, chic, black water tumbler or water canteen. You know the Stanley water bottle is really popular. No, I don't have one, but I do have loved ones that do have one and they do show up often at my home. Here's the thing. <laughs> There is a place for this, and it is exactly what I just got done talking about. When you are at home, when you go to the gym, when you are driving in your car or taking one of these to work, that is all, that makes perfect sense that you are going to go out and about with your water bottle. Again, as a health and wellness coach and encouraging my clients and my audience to drink plenty of water, I'm going to encourage that you have something with you all the time. The problem is we see these things show up everywhere and it really just is not polished and proper in my opinion. And if you work with any etiquette coach, they're gonna tell you the same thing. I was recently at a wedding and at the reception that had all these beautiful round tables, I saw a couple of these on the table. People are taking these to weddings. They're taking them to parties and gatherings. They're taking them everywhere. Now, if you're going to visit your parents and you wanna take your water bottle, that's perfectly fine. Or let's say you're going to go visit grandma, perfectly fine. But I can pretty much guarantee you that any party you attend, any event you attend, the host or hostess is going to supply water. Don't take your water canteen in there. Don't come waltzing into the party and set your water canteen on a beautiful tablescape that has table linens, fresh florals, maybe candles, 
No one wants to see this. It also does not look poised and polished to be drinking from this in public. Again, if you're going to visit your mom and dad or you're at the gym, you know what I'm talking about. Drinking from a water bottle unit like this when you are at a dressed up gathering just does not look classy. It just does not look classy. If anything, it looks tacky. It looks tacky being on the table. Many of you are against seeing this on the table when you are at gatherings, but yet some of those same people would have no issue with this. Think about it. That's all I'm going to say is Think about how this looks and how silly you look. I have witnessed on more than one occasion the water bottle being brought in. I recently hosted my daughter's baby shower in my home actually last weekend. Well, not, not Easter weekend, but the weekend before. And I was so thankful that no one walked in with one of these water bottles because the tables were beautiful. The home was set up beautifully. I had plenty of water. Everyone's glass was filled with water upon arrival. And then I had these beautiful glass carafes sitting throughout the table so that guests could pour themselves more water. Water is going to be provided. You may not have every drink that you would like provided. Maybe you prefer Diet Coke and they're only serving lemonade. I get that. Or maybe you only like artificially sweetened drinks and everything that's being offered is not is sweetened with sugar. Well, again, you're always going to have water. It's always going to be there. So please, just think about this, how silly it looks when you walk in with one of these units. Now again, do I walk in? Well, I really don't. I, I really don't go anywhere and carry this. We're going to a very casual get together in a couple of weeks to my in-laws to celebrate their 60th wedding anniversary. Now I will have this with me because we have about a 30 minute drive there and a 30 minute drive home. But this is typically me if I'm taking this bag. This is my work tote. Now I'm not always taking my work tote, but there's a good chance I'm just going to slide my water bottle in my work tote. Now when I get dressed up, I'm not carrying a tote. I'm carrying a small crossbody bag or a clutch. So generally the water stays in the car, but Leave the water bottles in the car, leave them at home, or leave them in your bag. If for some reason you are at some get together, gathering, or event and water is not provided, I, I highly doubt that's going to happen, then you've got it, right? You can go to the car and get it. But I really believe that is not going to be something that you're going to witness. Even if it's a house party, almost always water is going to be supplied. So leave the water bottle at home. This is a great tip. So tip Tuesday, etiquette to drinking water. And again, I would recommend even when you're at an event, if bottled water, the throwaway bottled water is provided, if there's cups offered, because most likely they're going to be plastic cups and maybe not glass cups, but if there's cups offered, I recommend pouring your, your water bottle that they provide into a cup and drinking it that way. It really just does look better. It really does. Take a look around or just practice in the privacy of your own home, drinking from a water bottle, look at yourself, or drinking from a cup or a glass. Preferably, it'd be a glass, but we can't predict every party that we go to what is going to be provided. All right, let me know. Love for you to weigh in. Yeah, I know. Does it seem a little picky or fussy? Maybe, but it just depends on what you want to project and if you want to show up polished and poised. Thanks for joining me.